Almond Blossoms is a group of several paintings made in 1888 and 1890 by Vincent van Gogh in the southern France. And they are depicting blossoming almond trees. Flowering trees were special to Van Gogh because they represented awakening and hope, and he enjoyed them and found joy in painting them. Today we'll be using a variety of materials and new techniques to make our own. Today we'll be creating a, our very own almond blossom branch inspired by Vincent Van Gogh's work of art and inspired by the spring season. The first thing we're gonna be creating is the branches. And as you'll notice, the branches are kind of curvy. There's varying thicknesses. So at the base of the branch here, it's thicker than at the tips of the branch. So I'm gonna make sure my paper is horizontal. I'm gonna write my name down here in the uh, bottom corner and my teacher code. And I'm gonna just um, sketch out to start kind of starting at the bottom here, I'm gonna start with just kind of a curvy Y. And then I'm also gonna have some branches going in this direction. So I'm gonna do a Y going this way as well. It does not have to look exactly like mine. We're gonna be using a really thick marker today and you'll want a piece of paper underneath so that we don't get Sharpie on the table. So I'm gonna begin by outlining my Y here. And to make this look more like a branch, I need to make this part thicker. So using the chisel tip of my marker, I'm gonna make this part thicker and fill it in. My messy mat actually kind of helps me make my lines a little bit bumpy, so that actually I kind of like. All right. So this one we can make it look like it's overlapping. Now we're gonna be adding more lines to our work and they're gonna be thinner. So I think I'm going to make another little Y coming off here and another one coming off. And as I want it to get thinner, I can use the tip of the chisel tip as well. Next, I'm gonna add some texture to the branches so I can see that there's some lines that show the bark. And the things that we have are oil pastels and the metallic markers. The metallic markers, some of them don't work very well, but they might be able to create a little bit of texture. So I can do that. Now I'm gonna decide on this one, this branch being in front. So I'm gonna do that.
the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some blossoms. And to do that, I'm gonna dip my brush into the paint and I'm gonna be stamping it on my paper flat to create a petal. So if I want a petal here, I'm just gonna go like this. And I like how it has a little bit of texture to it. So, and then I'll add the centers of my flowers later. add a tiny dab of gold into the center. You can wipe your brush on your messy mat, kind of clean it off a little bit, and then make a little dab in the center. 